Hello, this is Reza from Radicad, and in this part two of currency co exchange conversion rate, I'm going to talk about how to use the function that I explained in the previous part and convert the sales amount uh, from one currency to another currency based on live currency rates. Let's see how it works. If you want to do currency conversion in Power BI, I have created a function that you can use and it converts uh, one rate to another rate uh, using a free API live and it works uh, great. In uh, my previous video, I explained that you can use uh, Power BI data flow to avoid uh, lots of call to that uh, free API and uh, create a currency conversion table. Uh, now, this is continuing on that uh, video. Uh, in, in this video, I'm going to talk about, okay, how now we use that conversion table to convert rates uh, or sales amount or whatever uh, value amount you got from one currency to another currency. Uh, I can go and get data in Power BI uh, from Power BI data flows. Uh, and when I get data from Power BI data flows, let me also enable zooming as well. When I get data from Power BI data flows, in the previous section, you have seen that I have I have created a data flow, and within that, I have created a currency uh, table which has which have my desired currency from two and the rate which is fetched live. Uh, now I can click on transform data that would come as a table in my uh, power query so here is the table uh, I just need to make sure that the rate is in decimal format so I'll just change it to decimal and here is my currency table now in the other table uh, which I have the sales amount I want to convert it to this currency and in this one in addition to sales amount I also have information like from which currency I want to co convert it to which currency so I want to convert them all to US dollars and some of these are in New Zealand dollars, some of them are Australian dollars. In the other table, the currency conversion table, I have the rates. New Zealand to US dollar or Australian dollar to US dollar. Now, uh, to do this conversion, all I do is just from this table, I merge it to another table. If you are interested to see how merge works, check out my other uh, video about that. So I merge this with the currencies rate table and based on these two you need to select these columns in the order hold the control key and then click on this first then click on that you see this one and two that shows like an index and same thing here from two so these two and these two merge together and uh, I'll click on OK and here comes the table after the conversion so this should have a rate in it which is all I need I don't really need anything else I just need a rate from this table and that says that for for example New Zealand to US New Zealand dollar to US dollar that is the rate Australian dollar to US dollars that is the rate now that we got the rate the rest is simple just to multiply but before doing that multiply I also go and uh, disable the load for this table currency table is not needed anymore and when I disable the load that means in Power BI it will not be loaded but it is still part of the refresh and finally final step is that I select this column and select that column again hold the control key then I go to add column under standard multiply and that would be this multiply that and here is the result of multiply, uh, multiply. and I'm going to call this uh, converted sales amount you can even go and remove uh, the date to currency uh, things like that if you are if you want to do that uh, but that's it this creates the table for me uh, this creates the rate for me and then I can close and apply this and load it into Power BI and build some uh, visualization based on that so here you go this is how you use um, a function an API a call uh, using data flow then you use it in Power BI using Power Query and merge and do currency conversion live if you are interested in uh, more Power BI and AI videos go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel we have weekly videos of Power BI and AI thank you